Hi guys, welcome to Urban History Explores, uh, our second explore video of the year. We are finding it a little hard at the moment trying to find locations, but I know some will pop up like they always do. We have these dry spells and then we end up with tons all at once. So, but we have got some locations that we have logged in, which we will be doing in the next few weeks. Um, right, today's video, we are in uh, an abandoned pub in Sheffield. Uh, it's name escapes mate, but I'm gonna put it on screen right now. But uh, yeah, this is an abandoned pub. It's in quite bad condition. It did uh, have some fire damage and things like that. It's been home to a few uh, smack heads and homeless people. So uh, right, I'm gonna show you around guys. See you in a minute. This is where we've just uh, come in guys. So the basement's down there. We may be able to do that. But looking at the staircase here, I don't think Leon's going to be a mental case today and we're not going to have a go on that. So uh, right, we're going to carefully walk around here because uh, it has been empty for a long time and it doesn't have a roof so I think there's quite a lot of... I'll let you know, the bathroom with a toilet. Alright, yeah. okay. Um, a quite a lot of uh, water damage in here because it's got the roof is off because of the fire. Uh, but here there's cans down here so we've obviously had homeless uh, staying here at times trouble is is it's there's that much damage i don't think it's even recognizable as a pub anymore um there's some storage room there all right let's be careful because uh it's uh we're still just after the midst of the storm franklin so uh it's still bloody wet and windy out there all right so this is obviously the main door where i would have come in uh, if you would come into the pub. Uh, yeah. It's a strange looking thing for a pub. I don't know what that was. It looks like, you know like a, you know when people do art and they have them big table, yeah. like art tables, that's kind of what it looks like. I'm hoping this is not going to be a short explore guys, but Going on the damage, it possibly could be. Josh is testing the floor there, but uh, yeah, some uh, handbags and clothing in here. Uh, look, needles down here, so we'll have to be careful. I just think when someone's on drugs, why would they want to sit in a place like this to get out of the face? That's thing. what I mean. It's <laughs> awful. Right, I think this is one of the bathrooms. Strangely, I feel like upstairs has got more to reveal, but yeah. if you, s I'm just going to show you. I've been in bad buildings before, but this place has got water damage upstairs. So obviously the floorboards are falling, they're rotting. <laughs> so if I was to go up there, I would be risking my life. Right, the basement is here. I'm gonna do this because I think we'll be fine. But um genuinely not going upstairs. Right, okay, this is a fairly big son of this. Right, so we've got uh, Wow. Good oh yeah. Wow, it's huge. It doesn't look in proportion to the upstairs, but obviously it is. <laughs> yeah, well, there's another section down here. Right. Ah, this is just a smaller bit. These uh, benches are strange, aren't they? Yeah. It's like some kind of cloakroom. Reminds me of Red House. I'm wondering if they had, um, uh, they did food here in this like a chef's area. Uh, British, we see these here. What's 
Got a clue. Uh, well, the funny thing is, is we actually come to town today, viewers, to uh, go for a job opportunity, and we've ended up we end up urbexing no matter what we do. Yeah. So. Right, 